We are about to take you to a school gymnasium where a history lesson of sorts is being taught. You could hear a pin drop in there if it wasn't for the voice of one elderly woman whose story needs to be told. Here's Kim Griffiths. This is the place. Yeah. If one place could be both holy ground and hell on earth, this is that place for Noemi Bond. This is the most horrible thing here in front of us, this. This is Auschwitz, where she has her last memories of those she loved most and the worst memories imaginable of how far hate will go. And th this was only one purpose here, to kill, nothing else. As painful as this is, Noemi had to come back for those who died here and, and for those yet to be born. I am a Holocaust survivor. Every chance she gets, Noemi shares her have, story. You know, some people asking me, why are you still talking about it? It happened long time ago, I know. But I have many, many reasons to talk about it. She tells how with one split-second decision, her family tree was pulled from its roots, her heart forever scarred. And with one signal to his left, he sent my mom with the baby, my little sister, and my grandma to his left. He was facing us. Then he looked at me, he raised his arm again, and he sent me to the other side. And I'm so, so sorry to say, that was the very last time I saw them. Never, ever again. She's in her 80s now with a thick Hungarian accent and talking line. about what's practically they ancient history to middle schoolers. You'd think they'd be tempted care. to tune her out. I love you. Thank you for coming to our school. But boxes of cards and letters that arrive at her Bellingham home readers. say otherwise. Your story was just amazing, and I enjoyed it very much. It made me think differently about life. P.S. You are my hero. And everywhere she goes, her lesson of love shines through. Oh, what a wonderful people you are. I learned the lesson of Auschwitz. What was it? That hate destroys not the one whom we hate. Hate destroys the person who hates. I don't hate because I want to be free, and I am free. But what I'm doing instead of hating, what I'm doing now almost every day, speaking against prejudice, bigotry and hate by telling you. <sighs> Which brings us back to Auschwitz. <sighs> Noemi knows she can't teach forever. That's why she brought more than 30 local teachers and students all the way here to the ground zero of her pain. Memories. <sighs> As they experience her vivid, first-hand account, she's passing a baton of history from the very place it was made. I hope that as they grow older, and I won't be around, <clears throat> I don't like to talk about it, but it will happen, then they will remember that forever, and they will be not only themselves, but we'll be sharing. The source of peace, send peace to all who mourn, and comfort to all who are bereaved. Amen. So surrounded by educators, with her son and her granddaughter at her side, she teaches a history that no book can touch. She hopes if people keep telling this story, the children of tomorrow will always know the lessons of yesterday. These kids are lucky to be in that class and to hear that story. We want to thank Western Washington University professor uh, James Lortz for sharing that video with us to allow us to tell that story.
great stuff. Take a commercial break and come right back. Sometimes.